This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? Today I'm gonna show you guys the charging of the, that old Tesla Model S from 2024. You know, the one that uh, Valdemar repaired and then uh, I tested and uh, Marcus is gonna sell. So yeah, it's like a new trifecta, right? So I noticed that it was charging faster than before yeah, when it was really nerfed. So I'm gonna show you something here. If we just start now, you see that uh, to the left we have, uh, I believe that is, um, uh, that is Millennium Falcon and then to the right we have now that new car or the new old car I tested and Okay, it seems like um, uh, at least Millennium Falcon was charging faster initially, but then you will see that uh, the, the car to the right Seems to have higher charging speed and flatter and also you see the the temperature I highlighted in yellow there You will see that the temperature goes higher so I mean, what what the, what was all this about? Well, you know, initially in the old days, uh, Millen Falcon or the Teslas they were charging way faster. But then they had some kind of battery fires, or many very frequent battery fires. If you look back, maybe four, five, six years ago, roughly. So then Tesla they nerfed the battery, they tuned down the battery, uh, so, so it would charge a lot slower. And this is probably the result because to the left you see that um, back then, three years ago, the battery temperature was kept lower and also the charging speed was kept lower because the cooling probably couldn't keep up. So you see the battery was kept around 40 to 43 degrees Celsius. But maybe over time Tesla gathered enough data and they found out that, oh, okay, it's not that bad. Shit didn't hit the fan. I mean, yeah, uh, the Tesla didn't blow up. So we can increase the battery again to around 50-ish degrees Celsius else's and that allows the battery to charge faster so uh, i would assume that if i made a recording with uh, you know car scanner or the uh, scan my tesla when Millennium falcon was new right or like let's say almost 10 years ago at least eight years ago we'll probably see battery temperatures at around 50 degrees celsius but then yeah they nerf it and so it's like they kind of unnerf it right now so um, yeah, the the speed, uh, the playback speed you see in this recording is uh, 20 times. Normally I would have 10 times playback speed, but uh, this actually takes some time. So yeah, I mean, it's still gonna take a long time. You can see on the clock at the top, I didn't make a timer here, but you can just look at the clock and you can see how long it takes. But we're talking about uh, still around uh, 45 uh, minutes or almost an hour, I think it was, to reach 90%. So yeah, it takes forever, uh, but at least, uh, if you're not in a rush, uh, you can actually charge uh, somewhat faster now than before. So just gonna let it roll and finish and I can show you that eventually also the battery temperature will slowly drop as the charging speed drops. But um, yeah, I forgot to highlight that during the test uh, now that uh, the battery inlet um, in, the, in the new recording, the right recording, it was actually intentionally not cooling from the start. I also noticed this when I did the test is that um, if you, yeah, you can look back, scroll back and see that the inlet sometimes goes up and then down again, up and down a little bit. Uh, so the cooling actually kicked in and out. Uh, so uh, what does this mean? It means that uh, Tesla has programmed the car to intentionally allow the battery to heat up because once you heat up the battery more, then it's safer to charge it at faster speed right without killing it too fast at least so um yeah i mean this is like uh, the 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 trade-off do you want to charge faster or do you want to heat up the battery more well okay uh, but yeah so you see there uh, we hit 90 percent now already and it hit 90 percent a long time before the the recording to the right uh, okay, the battery actually goes a lot cooler also before only 30 something degrees now it stays at 46 48 degrees roughly and another thing to also pay attention to is that um, You see the Delta is only two degrees Celsius So Tesla they're always been quite good at keeping the Delta low versus some of the Korean cars which has around uh, yeah, 15, no, no, 12 degrees Celsius between min and max. So that's not good. Uh, I explained this many times, but the Toyota BZ4X tops the all with 18 degrees delta between min and max. That is also not good. And here I include the old charging curve. So this was done in uh, 2015. Yeah, wow, nine years ago. It used to be like this, you know, fairly nice and flat curve. And then, yeah. But then eventually uh, Tesla was like, oh, shise, we have to nerf it. So the, the blue line here is the slow, slow down. This is Millennium Falcon also. 
a lot slower but then now they just go a little bit flatter uh, and a result as a result you can actually reach around 50 60 percent with okay-ish speed yeah you know also you have to remember that these cars they are not that expensive uh, that tesla i wonder if it's already sold but it was announced uh, as trying to sell for 170k nook and for 170k nook you could i'm not sure if you can even buy a second-hand kona or uh, i don't know in euro or whatever right so for that price for that kind of range we're still talking about 420 kilometers of range here um it's still okay charging speed yeah like 100 ish kilowatt yeah, the corner just in comparison the corner will be down here somewhere right 75 70 something kilowatt until 50 percent, and then it drops a bit so uh yeah so it would be interesting actually to try to do a 1000 kilometer challenge with a new curve see if it improves Okay, anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.